We're live here at the Eurovision Press Center moments after the first semi-final of the Eurovision Song Contest 2021 has finished. So let's start with the good news then. The Eurovision is finally back. We are here after two years with this first semi-final and man, what a semi-final it was. Quality all the way from the start with Lithuania till the end with Malta and we've seen 10 great qualifiers. Um, so now, during this show, we will take a short walk through the press center, try to talk to some people, get some reactions on these results. But you at home, you will have your reactions, of course, too. Send them in the comments, ask us your questions, because we want to know what you think, and maybe we can give you some answers as well. All right, let's take a look around the press center here, where we can find people from certain countries. It's a bit more difficult than it was in previous years. Oh, let's go over there, actually. It's a bit more difficult than previous years because there are obviously less people in the press center due to COVID regulations. But we're going to try to find people from countries that were in today's show. André? Let's see if we can talk to these Belgian journalists. André, can I ask you a question? <laughs> André Vermeulen from Belgium here. Congratulations on Belgium qualifying for the final. Thank you so much. So, your first reaction? Uh, it was my dream for 20 years to have Hoover Vonnick in the Eurovision Song Contest. And, uh, well, now they came here and they go through to, through the finals. It's a big name in Belgium, right? How important is it for Belgium that when they send this huge band to Eurovision, that they succeed? It would have been a disaster if they wouldn't have succeeded, because maybe it would have been impossible to have other big names in the future. And now let's hope for the final. You know, this is a song that wins when you hear it more than once. So maybe in the final, something is still possible. People will get to hear it for a second time on Saturday. What did you think about the rest of the results? Any surprises? No, I had uh, 9 out of 10. I just missed Israel and thought maybe Croatia would have gone through. But uh, no, it's like I expected. I, I found uh, Ukraine uh, s still stronger every time I, I heard it. It's a very well built up song. So uh, I, I think it will be a contender in the final as well. And maybe Malta as well. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yes, Ukraine rising with the bookmakers as well, even uh, during this show even more. So um, who knows, they might be, uh, especially with the televoters, a very big hit in the grand final. They were the last envelope to come out as well. So maybe a few people in Ukraine got a little bit nervous, even though it was uh, the obvious number 10, of course, because Ukraine was, uh, at least for me, was one of my more certain qualifiers. But I think for many people that was the case. Let's take a look a little bit further around the press center to see if we can find some more happy people. We just spoke to a uh, very happy journalist from Belgium because Belgium qualified for the grand final after not being there for a few years in a row, actually. There's a long line over there. Let's take a look at the line, because this is where we are going to see the um, press conference for the finalists. And there are strict regulations for that one as well, because usually it's a, it's a packed press conference where people are uh, very close together to each other. Of course, this year that's not allowed, so you have to stand in line and not everyone will get in. But you want to get in, of course, especially if your country qualified and you want to see what position they draw for the grand final as well, because they will draw their halves, first half or second half, the 10 countries that have qualified. They will go to that press conference and they will draw their halves. I'm just going to go out on a limb here and see if I can talk to some people over here. Excuse me. Can I ask you something? Where, where are you from? <laughs> Can I ask you something about the show? <laughs> I just want to know if you are disappointed with Croatia not qualifying for the final. Yes, yes, I'm definitely disappointed. And, but I'll keep my thoughts for myself, okay? <laughs> okay, then we move on to the next one. Thank you. <laughs> it's always a bit more difficult to go in front of the camera if you just lost, of course, and uh, it's, a, it's a tough moment 
if your country was up in the odds and didn't qualify for the final. Ex excuse me, can I ask you, some you something? Where are you from? I'm from the Netherlands. In the Netherlands. So, what did you think of this first uh, Eurovision show in the Netherlands after two years? Finally, it's here. It was amazing. The production was very, it was great, and uh, it looked very slick and very professional. I was just happy to see all these people in the audience as well. As fun to watch. Really Some, something we can all be proud of. Definitely, yeah. definitely something we can be proud of. Looking forward to the other semi-final and the final. It's going to be just as good. What, what was the biggest highlight in terms of the production of this show? Um, it's funny to say, well, I like all the entries, of course, but what um, mostly amazed me was the interval act. Usually I'm not really, um, I, I go to the bathroom during the interval act. It doesn't really interest me, but it really grabbed me and I really enjoyed it. So. Davina Michel, she definitely made an impression. And um, yeah, who knows, maybe she will represent the Netherlands in the future at some point. Uh, Norway, where? Uh, oh, over there, yes. Let's take a look at that table. Because Norway, of course, is also one of the 10 happy ones. One of the 10 qualifiers in this show. And so maybe some happy faces at this table over here. Excuse me? Can I ask you something? Are you guys from Norway? I'm not from Norway. They ah, they are from Norway. They're, I thought they were your colleagues. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good too. <laughs> Can I ask you something? Can I ask her something? <laughs> Can I ask? That's good. Sure, of course. Can I ask you something? Are you, you're from Norway, right? How happy are you with the results of the show? Oh, very, and we were the first one to be announced as well, so it was very exciting. It was a relatively stress-free night because you got out of the envelopes early. I know, and he was number seven at the betting list, so we could have we could have left the competition as well. So we were super excited. <laughs> what What do you think about uh, about ticks? Because you have an entry with a special story this year, right? Yeah, I think maybe that's why a lot of people like him because he has a very personal story and a very unique story, and he. Uh, he he just uh, he's very secure of himself and he's able to say this is my story and I'm not ashamed of, ashamed of it. Do you think that there is a chance you could uh, get somewhere in the final as well? Well, I think so. I mean, uh, the odds has not been in our favor, uh, but I think that people are starting to like him. You know, he's the one who's all of a sudden he's on the top of the tables and dancing in pre press conference. You know, he's, he's a little firework. And I think a lot of people are like slowly getting used to him and slowly starting to like him more and more. <laughs> Other than Norway qualifying, what was your biggest takeaway from the results of today's show? Well, Norway and Sweden are always like rivaling, uh, so I was like a little bit like, come on, Sweden has to qualify as well, we can't miss that uh, rivalry in the big final. So I was very happy that uh, Tuss, uh, Tuss uh, came through. All right, so let's see who will get higher in the final. Good luck to you and to Tix. So either Norway or Sweden, uh, who will win the big rivalry this year? Toby. Yes. Uh, no, I don't think so. It's another guy with a hat, though. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I would always like to talk to Maciej, but he's talking to uh, his own fans at the moment. So let's see. I don't. S yeah, I don't see. No, I don't see Toby. He's in the line actually there, so we might be able to talk to him there. Toby from uh, Aftonbladet, he was the guest in our talk show today and we spoke a lot about uh, Tusse and about his chances and now we know that Tusse will be in the grand final so let's see if we can get a quick reaction from him while he is here waiting for the press conference line. Hi Toby. <laughs> Hi, hang on. Uh, uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Yes, hi. Hi, do you have one minute for us? I know you already spent a lot of time with us today, but you know, maybe maybe you'll never grow tired of it. Never. Congratulations on Sweden reaching the final. Thank you so much. It was nerve-wracking. I, th I think I was biting my nails as much as the Swedish delegation did in the green room. But, but uh, I, I think he deserved it. Uh, I think he did fairly well, even though uh, I doubt that the Swedish uh, product uh, that the Swedish team is uh, happy with the camera production because there were a lot of TV uh, TV images that wasn't right but I also think that that was the fact with a lot of the delegations tonight uh, which goes back to the Dutch production that they they didn't have a great night tonight unfortunately 
So were you more nervous now than maybe in previous years with Swedish entry? Uh, I would say so, absolutely, uh, and especially since Tusse is not ha hasn't been up among the the the, f the fan favorites this year, at, at least not now during rehearsals. So yes, I've uh, I, I was a tad bit more nervous now than uh, than I've been earlier. What what would you be looking for were to if we're going towards the final for them and for the Dutch production team maybe to improve in uh, Sweden's performance? Uh, right now, I would. I, I, I would say that that a lot of it has to do with uh, uh, with the TV images. There are so so many TV images that needs to be perfected, and they have managed to do it during uh, uh, they've managed to do it dur during rehearsals. So I'm sure that they can do it. But uh, I, I'm sure that you also noticed during other entries that they were uh, th there were lots of you know. Uh, Uh, TV photographers that were in the picture that are not supposed to be there, stuff like that, and it's, it doesn't only have to do with Sweden, but uh, but that's at least you'll get a second chance to uh, improve it for the final. Exactly, exactly. Good luck at the press conference. Thank you. People are starting to be able to go in to this. Uh, press conference room and that means that it's almost time for the uh, press conference for the winners and that means that it's also almost time for us to close up here but of course if you stay tuned to ESC Daily we will keep you up to date about the running order draw and about everything leading up to the second semi-final from tomorrow onwards.